And you still want me to spend the night with you? No, I don't. Yes, you say. Welcome back, everybody. First of all, if you see me standing in weird ways, it's because I have to avoid this bright ass light. Because the stupid time changes completely change where the sun is now when I go to film. So I got to sit back to not get blinded. But we have a great video for all of you today. I'm going to have to get like, a fucking curtain for that window. Holy shit. We have a great video for all of you today. We're watching Chris Hansen catch not one brother, but two. And not just like at different times or like one after another. He's going to catch them both at the same time. Time. I don't know why these two are coming in together. If they just conveniently, you know, walked in at the same time. This looks like I'm a superhero about to, like, shoot a light beam at all of you. But I don't know why they're both here at the same time. <laughs> Let's find out. Like, subscribe, and do all that good stuff. Let's get into the video. Looks like our guys are uh, pulling up. I'm so glad you guys made it. Finally. So come on back. I made some frozen lemonade for us. These men work together in the computer industry. So They're both here for dates with girls who told them test? they were 13. And uh, what'd you guys bring? I love sandwiches. Oh, yes, I love sandwiches. So, um, hey, there you are. Take a seat. Um, Wondering how the two of them ended up here party, looking for a double date with underage girls? So the Their story begins when this 25-year-old named Pulkit Mature, screen name Pookie007US, starts chatting online with a decoy named Kira. First of all, they not thrown off. There's just one person there. Like, these people are so fucking stupid. They always fall for this shit. And, cause, I mean, we were explaining before, it's because they're so desperate that they just don't care and they ignore the obvious signs of how stupid they are to keep going. <laughs> they literally don't even have two decoys and they still fall for it. What the fuck? And these two are apparently uh, computer people, you know, they know each other. Do they just like, <laughs> like how do they know the other is like into that and is a disgusting, awful human being because, if, like, did they admit it to the other? Because, like, that's some bold confidence, man. Because if someone I knew said that to me, I would just report them to the police. <laughs> but this guy <laughs> found another disgusting person just like him, I guess. I guess just watch a pooky, you know, you as. Let's see what you gotta say. Starts chatting online with a decoy named Kira, who told him she was 13. After he plans a date for sex with her, he asks Kira if she has a friend for his colleague Kanish. The decoy said yes, and that's why they're here. Um, just hang out, put the food out, pour me a drink. I'm gonna actually go change so we can get in the hot tub. And if you guys wanna get in the hot tub, feel free, I'll turn it on, okay? You can jump in. Hey guys. Hello. Why don't you have a seat right over there, please? Mm -hmm. They both just sit down so easily. Chris is mad, they guys swear. But oh my god, I really thought they were gonna humiliate these two and just like, ah, yeah, don't go in the hot tub and wait a second. God, that would have been funny. Like, they go into the hot tub, Chris jumps in too, and there's like the entire interview. Let's have a swim. So, why are you here to me? Oh god, that would have been hilarious. What's going on? Not too much. <laughs> Nothing much. What are you guys doing? We'll take this. We need to have some food and all. Some food, yeah. Pookie hey, 007 US explains that he's in the United States here. on business. Where do you live? I live in India. And who are you guys here to visit today? Just have to have food. With Just food? Friend, yes. Yeah. And he food. says he only came food. here to bring Kira lunch. But that's not what he said when he spoke to her online. Yeah. Well, you talked about a lot of other things besides lunch in the chat. Okay. No, no. That well, I, 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 no, no, it's right here. Yeah, yeah I might have chatted, but uh, that was only for, like, that's the chatting. That's not nothing intentional. Dude is so nervous. Holy shit. Oh, I just said that. I just said that. Like, I, I, I didn't mean I was going to do it. You idiot. What do you mean? You just said you were going to do something with no intent to actually do it? Like, of course, no one's gonna buy that. What the fuck is actually wrong with you? And what the fuck is that excuse he said in the beginning? He's like, oh, why are you here? Oh, I'm in the, 
I'm just in the you know the country for business. No. Why the fuck are you here? Oh, to uh have lunch. We're just gonna bring her lunch. Great excuse. <laughs> you bought her lunch. Do these people ever gonna realize that the fact that they brought the lunch from the conversation just proves that the rest of the conversation happened? No? Did they not realize it's how stupid they're gonna sound when they be like, no, this part, it, this part was true. This part, I didn't mean. I just said it. Doesn't mean I mean it though. What the fuck is wrong with you? No, no, I need you to stay right over there. Sit, sit, stand, stand here. And you still want me to spend the night with you? No, no, I don't. Yes, you say. I will kiss you from top to bottom. I will treat that you is... nicely. How do you like to be loved? No, that is just a tag. I'm sorry for pausing it so soon. I love this, the perfect timing of, of Chris reading the conversation. It's just like, oh, do you want to do this? And he's like, no, I don't. And Poppy reads, yes, I do. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Let's keep, we can keep going. That's it. No, I don't. Just a chat. I don't feel like it. Well, it sounds like you felt like no. you wanted to be with her from this chat. No, not at all. Then you ask if you can bring a colleague along and if she's got a friend to be with your colleague here. Like that. Did you know that? Did you know he was saying that? Yeah, yeah, he knew, but the thing he is knew that. that. So he knew what you were doing. Yeah, Pookie I, I, 007 I, I, US says the reason he brought a friend along was because he needed a ride. I, I'm new to this town. I, I don't yeah, know. It doesn't matter where you're from or, or how new you are to the town. The point is she told you she was 13. Mm -hmm. And you continued with this chat, no, no. and you brought your buddy in with you. No, no I don't. I'm, I'm not aware that she's a 13. I Online, like the decoy told Pookie007US more than once that she was 13. And Pookie's friend knew it, too. In a separate online conversation, a second decoy chatted with Kanish and told him, I'm 13. They got... <laughs> First of all, I love that they keep calling me Pookie, but they even got this man, who was just dragged along, who hasn't even got asked any questions. He has his own chat log. They can't get out of this, right? There's no chance these two can lie. Like, you started a whole separate conversation. You knew. Why is this guy even pretending? There's so much evidence he knew. He brought the friend from the conversation. He brought the lunch. Like, started a whole nother conversation. This guy is a fucking idiot. And told him, I'm 13, female. And he said, hmm, you're young. I was not aware that she's a 13 year old. Like, That's I something, would... yeah, mistaken. Well, yeah. you knew it was 13. I you admitted to me. So why were you here to see a 13 year old girl? I, I came sorry here for that. Sorry for that. He, he said that, you know, you come, I don't know the way. Online, Kanish is vague about what he plans to do when he gets here. When the decoy, named Amanda, asks him, what sort of stuff do guys like to do with girls? He says, come on, Amanda, you don't know that? And then says, for the same reason, Pulkit is meeting Kira. You see why this is wrong, right? Yeah, please forgive us. Please forgive us. Do you guys ever watch uh, television? Before we get into this last little bit here, I love that. It's just like, he's just like, oh, I'm just not going to say it. Then I can't get in trouble. You still showed up. You're still getting in trouble, my guy. Your excuse is not bulletproof as much as you fucking think. These disgusting human beings are way too confident that they are smarter and that they're gonna get away with this. Like, I don't get where these dumb, disgusting people get this confident. Like, where do they get this confidence from? Do you guys ever watch uh, television? No. no. Well, I'm Chris Hansen. And I'm a correspondent with the Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story on adults who try to meet teens on the internet. We are not like that, guys. We are not like that. At this point, law enforcement arrests both men. And takes them in for questioning. But after interviewing Kanish... I'm, I'm very loyal to my wife. It's my love marriage, so... 13 years old. No. The police let him go, possibly because evidence of sexual intent isn't definitive in his chat log. But it's a different story for his friend Pulkit. You write, I will taste your lips when I will kiss you. Yeah, did you write that? Yeah. Like, that you has, did? Yeah. Uh, 
didn't really mean that. So you wanted a 13 year old to be your girlfriend? No, no, not at all. I'm sorry for like whatever I have written in that. Again, he tries to argue that he didn't know the girl was 13, but the detective isn't buying it. First and foremost, I can't believe the guy got away with it. Like, the intent was still clear. Like, oh God, that annoys me so much that he got away. But this idiot, like, you even just told the police, no, no, I did say that. Does he really think this excuse that I said it, I just didn't mean it, is gonna actually work? You were just arrested. You're being interrogated. Do you think a shitty excuse like that is gonna let you walk free? What is wrong with this guy? So I googled whatever happened to this guy and he was charged with attempted lewd behavior with a minor, had a $30,000 bail, and this man failed to show up to court and has never been arrested. It is believed that he went back to his home country and he's, and he's like a wanted man to this day. Like this man never this is like, you know, this man was laying on bail. Makes bail. No one just thought to make sure he didn't leave the country. Like, I think like the entire point of being on bail is that to keep track of where you went and what you're doing and to make sure you don't leave the country, especially when this guy was from a different country originally. Like he said he was just in America for a little bit. He clearly had a way to get back home. Maybe they should make sure he wasn't going to leave, make the bail higher, do something. I just can't believe that this man has just never been arrested. But it's just insane. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so mad that the, both of these people just got let go free. This happens way too much, but uh, hopefully something like this never happens again. If you like Chris Hansen videos, we have an entire playlist over on the channel. I'll link it at the end of this video. We got Christmas videos coming up, so make sure to subscribe for that. Until next time, have a good night.